inside the tank you'll have a little filter to kind of rotate counterclockwise and thread out Ten, fifteen threads. The screen should be fairly clear. A little bit of trash won't bother it. What you don't want to see is that it's filled up, plugged up, or soaked over. It should seem that it would pass water pretty clearly. If you wanted to, you could dip it in a bucket or pour some water through it just to be sure. But if it's clogged, you'll really see it. Once that's removed, you can take a blow tip, put it down inside that hole. Just give it a tap, tap. The goal is to push anything that's in the line out. If you've got an empty tank like this one, you might throw a pad or a rag or something around it to keep it from splashing back off you. If the tank has some water in it, it'll just bubble. The water can actually help a little bit, but you do want to avoid stirring up trash that would then go down without the filter. If neither of those gets it, we'll go ahead and put the machine in a test. We'll turn on scrub. Water flow up. Fresh pressure is not real important, but you might do if they have a leveling issue about halfway. Then drive the machine forward three or four feet, slow and easy. Let those brushes come down. Let it start scrubbing. Once you hear contact with the floor, go ahead and hit reverse and just scrub backwards. And as you go backwards, you should be able to see fairly even water on both sides. Two solenoids work very similarly. You just twist and unlock. And you can separate out. There's a black version and a blue version. Same company, same function. Twist, comes apart. You have a plunger on a spring, a little electromagnet, has two wires. You want to make sure that the connections there are good so you have strong voltage fully opening the magnet. To do that, all you have to do is wiggle the wires. The spring is what keeps the plunger in place. You want to make sure nothing bound up in there. And then the plunger pulls out. See, it's kind of seated down in there. on that one just goes in makes contact right there if it is somewhat stuck like it got dry and then stuck in there it may not want to open fully if there's some kind of goop or trash on the input side of the hose that can plug up and limit the flow through there as it pulls out get access you can put the machine up on a jack, lift that wheel a little bit off the ground. That'll put the deck down a little bit further, give you some more room. You don't have to, though. Turn the machine on, put it in scrub mode, turn the water flow all the way down. Put your go pedal. That's going to get the brushes spinning, get the deck lowering down. It's going to start spraying water. It's going to run down until it sees contact. When it gets down there low, hit your e-stop button. It's going to stop everything and lock it in where it's at. Turn the key off. Very important, if you use a jack, do not lower the machine down while that deck is down. Always turn the machine back on and let it lift up before you let the jack down. When you get down underneath it, on the floor, 
you can see the hoses that go up to the filter in the tank that you took off to blow comes down to the solenoid and that's the solenoid we're looking at in the pictures and it goes over to the hoses and the teeth if we know we have good water level in the tank and the filter's not clogged and there's nothing obvious that we can clear with just shooting a little air down the line then we want to check water coming into the solenoid and then water going out of the solenoid there's going to be a little hose clamp on there that you can open with a small straight screwdriver or a quarter inch driver that you'd find on a combo screwdriver like this the small side is a quarter inch you can take that out put that down in there and turn it you can use the straight head from that also put that down on there it doesn't take a lot of force to turn you can almost turn it by hand you just need to get something down on the head give a little turn counterclockwise to loosen the little hose clamp is going to come off and as soon as you wiggle that off of there water is going to start pouring out if you have a 3h drive extension for a ratchet just a little shorty shove that guy in there a little bit it's a perfect size to plug that half inch hose and it'll stop the water from coming out on you if water is pouring freely out of here then that means you have good water flow and there's no plug going back to your tank so now we're looking at the solenoid to verify the solenoid mounted there on the tank just give it a little twist it'll pop off the back pull the spring out pull the plunger out if you still have that extended blow tip just shoot a little air down in there especially if you notice there's one side that goes out to the front of the machine that goes out to your hose tee, you want to clear that, and especially the right side that has low flow. It's very rare to get a clog in here, but you know sometimes a bug can climb up in there, uh, soap accumulation, anything. All we want to make sure is that we're getting good flow. My number one suspect with low flow is that this guy got stuck inside of there. When you blow the air, that should clear it. Should clear any accumulation in there, any soap buildup, anything slimy. Then you just kind of put everything back together there. This guy right here just pops in and then twist to lock. Twist to unlock, twist to lock. 